welcome back to my channel. Um, I have a good schedule set up for to start this year off and I'm going to try to stick with it. So that's my goal. My goal is to upload at least two to three times a week and starting off are my planners. So um, actually there's one there's one that um, I need to add. So, um, we're going to start off and I'm just going to go, I'll probably go this way, maybe. Yeah, okay. Um, and we'll talk about what they are and what I'm using them for and all the good things. So, starting off, um, I have, I actually have, these are both the Erin Condren Daily Duo. I'm going to zoom in. Just a little bit for you there. Uh, both of these are the Daily Duo. This is the 7x9 and this is the A5. Um, I got the, and you can kind of see the size difference there. Um, I got the 7x9 because um, I've always used that uh, size. Uh, I've never used an A5 and then I kind of got to thinking about it and everything and I thought this would be easier for me to carry around when I'm going out and doing things out and about so that might be easier for me to carry with me so I got that one and then I've not I've got plans for this one but I don't really know how much I'm going to use it this is going to be like my personal everyday write down my to do's and all the things I'm going to put um, a uh, I've already wrote a few things in it I'm going to do um, like a dashboard page probably with like my sinking funds and stuff. I've already put like uh, earnings, like challenges and stuff. Um, so I'm going to do some of that in here. But this is going to be my personal family, uh, doctor's appointments, all those things is going to go in this one. Um, and then this one, I think I'm working on getting my appraiser's license. And so I think I'm going to use this strictly for that. Um, so when I have, you know, appointments, I need to go see houses. I need to contact, uh, owners to, you know, schedule these. I need, I have, uh, you know, due dates coming up, everything like that. I think that's what I'm going to use this one for. Um, I've not really done anything in this one yet because, uh, you know, initially I did mark off this first couple weeks of when my girls would be in school because they are, um, my oldest went back to school in the fall, and I think, um, Piper, my middle one, is going to go after Christmas, um, which next week she'll start. Um, of course, this should be going up on Monday, so air school starts back tomorrow. Um, so anyway, I'm going to let her, um, go back to school. So all I'll have is Maddie, and then I may get a babysitter for her a couple days a week when I have to go actually look at houses. Um, so that's... The daily duos. I also have um, um, the hourly. Now I used to be like I always got the vertical but last year I got the vertical and the hourly just to see how I liked it and so this year I'm doing um, the hourly as like my week at a glance and stuff so I can take I can do you know the basic week overview here and um, I'm going to go through this one day and actually show you. I've set up like all of my uh, dashboard pages and my like all of this. I've set up most of like these. I've not set up all of those. Those are some stickers I had and I thought they looked good there. And so we'll talk about this is this week. I'm going to try to do more plan with me's with um, my hourly and with my daily duo. So I'll try to do some of those. But I'll do a flip through and kind of show you how I set up my dashboards and my notes pages. I've put a lot of stuff in my notes pages for this one. So this one's all set up and ready to go. Um, and you may or may not know that I'm also a Disney vacation planner. I'm a travel agent, but I... I specialize in Disney. I can do Universal or cruises or some other stuff. Um, but Disney's what I do more than anything else. So my clients that I am working on their vacations, um, I've got those all scheduled in here and that's why I'm not really going to open it much. Um, cause I, you know, privacy and all, but like my calendars, I can write down when they're leaving, what their dates are for booking certain things. Um, and you know, when, 
payments are due and all that stuff. So that is strictly what this one is for. It's just for the Disney stuff so I don't lose it in the cracks because it doesn't need to be anywhere else. Um, but just with this one. Um, I also, I got this one just because... I don't know. I actually, I think I thought this was the notebook instead of the planner. But this is a, um, it's a vertical planner, but it is lined. So let me show you. I can, and I can, you know, go more in depth with these if you want me to. But it is, like, it's lined. Each of these, it has lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this as more of a memory. Like, I can write something that happened that day, or I can put a quote, or I can put you know, a recipe, or I can put, um, just stuff like that, that I can actually just fill this in. Um, if I've got a sticker or a photo or something I want to put up top, I can, but that's what this is going to be for. It's just, um, kind of reflection and stuff like that. Um, so this won't be pre-planning. This will be more, you know, before I go to bed in the evening, if I want to write something down, then I can. That's what that one's for. Now, uh, I'll show you this real quick. Um, this is the Simplified Planner. I got this, I think, at Walmart. And it is a July through June. So, I've had this one since July. But this is my social media kind of YouTube content planner. So, I kind of wrote out my video plans for the next six months. Off and on. You know, kind of what kind of videos I want to do, not not specifically what I'm doing, but um, I've started making a plan, so I've got my J January videos all planned. I've just got to get them filmed, edited, and uploaded, so um, that's what's here, and if you have any uh, suggestions, anything you want to see, um, just uh, drop me a comment, and um, I will try my best to get into those. Um, the next one I have, which I'm really excited about because I started doing Fly Lady last year and I was printing out sheets every week and so I found this and I think this is going to be awesome. Um, this is the Passionate Penny Pincher, I believe. It's, this is her planner and I think I saw it originally on Carrie Grace's channel. Um, and so this has, um, it's got some stickers in the front and I can do a whole overview on this one if you want to see it. Um, but it's got all kinds, it's got like your home tasks you need to do, checklists, vacation, Christmas, uh, personal goals, weekly home projects, different checklists, things you need to do every month, project lists, financial goals, which I'll get into that in just a minute. Um, but anyway, so... Here is like, it's got a month view and then when you flip into the actual week, this is the first week, um, anything that is home related, like strictly, which obviously I've wrote some stuff in here that's not strictly home related, but it's got menu planning, it's got little tasks every day, to, it's got your daily tasks up here where I'm not having to write these down, which what I was doing in my daily planner was a lot of this. Um, so I don't have to write any of that down anymore. It's all here and I leave it either in my kitchen or like next to my dining room table and I lay it out in the morning and I go through and I check off all my stuff and then, you know, kind of continue on. And it's that like your things you do every day. Some of them change, some of them don't. Um, and then you have a budget worksheet at the end. And so, and you go all the way through the year. So I'm really excited about this one, about keeping my house in order all the time because I have three kiddos and a husband and he works full time and I'm getting ready to kind of work full time, so to speak. Um, and just keeping everything going and keeping everything up and not getting behind because then I end up getting overwhelmed and it's not a pretty thing. All right, so the last one, and I just got this the other day, is the Budget Moms Budget by Paycheck Workbook. And I'm so excited to start using this. I'm doing the cash envelope system and I can do some videos on that if you want me to um, because I'm just kind of getting into it myself. So lots to learn, lots to look at, but I've already filled in some of the stuff and I'm not quite comfortable yet sharing all of that on here. So um, 
I can switch over to like show you some that I've not filled in anything yet. So here's March. Um, so here's a monthly spread and then you have, and obviously I can show this more in detail later too, but you have your uh, budget tracker and your cash envelopes. So I believe there's five of these pages. So if you get, you can do like up to five a month. Um, and so, but you can break it all down and then, you know, what your envelopes are, you can put it over here and decide, you know, what denominations you need to fit in each envelope. So when you go to the bank, you can get the right number of envelopes, which is awesome. Um, and expense trackers, um, so much stuff. I'm just so excited about getting everything down on paper and where I can see it and I can actually, you know, start um, really focusing on some of our savings goals that we want to do. And my little one is ready for me to be done. So um, I hope you like this video. If you want any like more closer looks at any of these planners, please leave it in the comments. I would love it if you would like and subscribe to my channel. Um, like this video, subscribe to my channel. That would be great. Um, and I will have loads more. Mondays is probably going to be my planner day uh, for uploads. So every Monday I'll have some kind of planner related video, be it budgeting or plan with me's or what have you. Um, but if there's any, anything specific you really want me to see, um, just leave that in the comments. Thanks. And I'll talk to you guys later.